EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2005. along with my partners Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet ready to bring you all of the intense football action. The Rebels are much too powerful to be stopped in this game. Kirk, what are your thoughts? Uh, there's no question about it. This one's going to be pretty ugly. Ole Miss has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against his defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blowout here. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. Ole Miss is going to throw the ball at this inferior secondary the entire game. This will be an aerial assault from the get-go. And yo, this one could get ugly, Kirk. New Mexico State has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Kicks it off. Number four fields it at the seven. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. Number 16 lines up in the shotgun. Looks. Across the middle. Got it. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First, first and 10. ten. Ball on the Ball 35. They come out in a nickel. They'll throw on first down. Let's it go. It's deflected. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Number 24, alone in the backfield. They go with a run. And down he goes. That'll be a two-yard gain. Third and eight, ball on the 37-yard line. New Mexico State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Pat it away. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 97 gets it off. Number 84 takes it to 25. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. They'll take over at the 46-yard line. Six. 
New Mexico State lines up for the shotgun set. They go with the option. Big opening. Tackle. They go with the option and pick up the first down. And that was just good instincts. You have to know when to pitch it or when to keep it. Yeah, and in that situation, the quarterback knew he could pick up the first, so he kept it himself. Very good decision. It's first and 10, ball on the 43-yard line. New Mexico State comes out in the shotgun. Here's the option, the lateral. Spin move, missed tackle, step arm, and he's tackled. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. They'll run the option. Pitches back. Here he goes. He's knocked out of bounds. About eight yards there. New Mexico State has done a great job of getting points once they get inside the red zone. Hey, when they get close to the goal line, you can count on some kind of score. They never come away empty-handed. They go with the option. He pitches it, and they got him for a loss. That corner did a great job there containing the outside and not allowing the ball to get by him. That showed good discipline by this defense. They line up in an eye. Ball on the 18-yard line. They'll run the option. He laterals the ball. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Well, that play sure didn't work. Brad, this is a sensational play by the defense. They just charged in there, and they stuffed it. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. Here comes the special teams unit. The kick is up. And it sails through the upright. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. New Mexico State lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number four takes it from the six. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. Ole Miss comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Play action, throws to the middle, and got it complete. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw, plus a nice catch, and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. First it's first and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. The Rebel come out showing three wide. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. His receiver has it. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. First, First and 10. ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. The Rebel line up with four wideouts. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 39-yard line. 
Ole Miss lines up with three receivers. Fullback, handoff, tackle. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. It's third down and seven to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. New Mexico State lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. Throws. Batted ball. The linebacker managed to break that one up. Looks like they're going to put it away here. He punts this one high in the air. Number three signals for a fair catch. They'll down the punt at the eight. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the eight yard line. One man backfield. He drops back. He steps up, down the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. So it's second and 10. Ball on the eight yard line. Number 26, the lone pass. Setting up the play action. Wants to throw outside. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. From the gun. Throws it to the outside. The ball is tipped. So the coverage continues to look impressive on this drive. That'll bring up fourth down. You're right, Brad. The coverage has looked impressive, but this quarterback certainly has not. He just can't seem to find his rhythm out there. They send out the punting unit. Punts the ball away. Number 11 takes it at the 43. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last run. They had something going, but were unable to get any points. The Rebel line up in an I formation. Here's the give. He's into the open field, and he's taken down, and a pickup of about seven. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. New Mexico State, three, Old Miss, nothing. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. And they'll run him again. He spins around, and down he goes. And he gets a yard on the run. a jumbo set here. Touchdown, Ole Miss. He got behind those big buffet busters and followed them into the end zone. <laughs> that doesn't do a whole lot for yards per carry average, but hey, it sure put a dent in the scoreboard. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary.
Number 86 is lined up to kick this one off. Here's the kick. Number 25 fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll start this drive at the 17. The Rebel line up with six defensive backs. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The big guy got a hold of him there. Yeah, he had no choice but to go down in that situation. Second and 13. Ball on the 14-yard line. Ace backfield. They go with the option. Fakes it. And he's tackled. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on their own 16. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. He's going right. It's deflected. And it's incomplete. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Fourth and 11. Ball on the 16 yard line. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 16 gets it off. Number 11 takes it to the 45. Breaks one. He jukes. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 33-yard line. Number 24 lines up as a single back, spins up field, and they make the stop. That's a gain of eight. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 25. Number 24, the lone back. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down, and he gets a yard on the run. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 24-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. He'll get the call again. And down he goes. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move downfield. It's first and 10, ball on the 21. From the gun. They'll make the sack. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure coming from every direction. Kirk, as I've always said, the best way to keep the pressure down and to help the quarterback is to run screens and draws. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 25. Ole Miss comes out with an eye formation. He spins. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of about two. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Ole Miss comes out in the shotgun. He's looking. Across the middle, and it falls incomplete. Looks like they had a guy wide open there, fellas. Yo, I didn't get that guy so wide open. Boy, they were lucky he didn't get it to him. Number 86 comes in to kick the field goal, and he's going to have to get a leg into this one. It's up. And it is good. 
And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Looks ready to kick this one off. He hits a booming kick. Number 25 fields it in the end zone. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for a slow bow replay to recap it. They'll get the ball here at the 20. New Mexico State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. They go with the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. New Mexico State calls a timeout. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 19. The Aggies come out showing three wide. Back to pass. He's looking deep down the left side. Incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third and 11, ball on the 19-yard line. New Mexico State lines up in a goal line set. They hand it off. And they make the stop. Ole Miss takes a timeout. Number 11, the return man. Number 16 gets it off. Number 11 takes it at the 47 with the spin. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll, They'll go to work at the 42-yard line. The Rebel set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. Cut. And he's taken down. The offense calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25. They line up with trips to the right. Steps up in the pocket. Pressure coming. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Yeah, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. <laughs> Number 16 is back in the gun. Steps up, looking. He's going right. It's tipped. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. These guys right now are just helping out the opposition. Yeah, and those mistakes drive a coach crazy. Lack of discipline on the field, hates it. Second and long, ball on the 38. They line up with trips to the right. He drops back. He steps up, looks. And he's got all the time in the world. Throws this one out to the right. Batted ball. Not a good decision here by the quarterback throwing into coverage. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Aggie bring in their dime package. He's looking. Here comes the pressure. He's going right. The ball is tipped. 
The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Lines up, hoping to extend the lead and make it a two-score game. The kick is up. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Ole Miss 10, New Mexico State 3. Ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He kicks it. Number 20 fields it in the end zone. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First and 10. Ball on their own 20. The Aggies come out showing three wide. Here's the option. Duke move, and down he goes. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. Got it to his receiver. And he's brought down. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender. And he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First and 10. Ball right around midfield. The Aggies go with the I formation. They go with the option. They'll bring him down about five yards on the quarterback keeper. It's second down and five to go. Ball in the 42. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. Deep pass down the right side. It falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third and five. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Rebel line up with the nickel back. Laterals back. Spinning. Brought down. And the tailback picks up the first down. Well, here's a play that's not going to make the highlight reel, but it's so important to this offense. You're absolutely right, Kirk. This offense is all about working your way down the field. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. They come out with three wide receivers. Here's the option, and then he pitches it, and down he goes. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. So it's second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Number ten with four wide receivers. He decides to run with it. Here's an opening. And they make the stop. Good awareness on that scramble there. Please answer this question for me. Where was the defense on that play? You can't let a pocket-type quarterback run on your defense like that. There's no excuse for that kind of play on defense. The problem there, Coach, is they dropped everybody back in coverage and left enough running room for the big guy to get a first down. Number 26 lines up as a single back. He drops back. Looking. Over the middle. Batted ball. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Second 
Second and ten, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. New Mexico State goes with the ace set here, and he's stopped behind the line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Well, this offense is trying to establish the option game, but right now there's nothing there. Good thing that wasn't a turnover. I thought he was going to pitch it. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Aggies come out in the ace formation, drops back to pass, looks. Wants to throw outside. They'll bring him down. Solid gain, guys, but short of the first down. Yeah, there was a nice gain. Although it didn't get him the first down, it gives him a little bit more confidence in moving the football against this defense later on in the game. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up. And it's through the uprights. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Number 93 is lined up to kick this one off. Number seven, back to return. Kicks it off. Number four, fields it at the nine. Makes a move. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 25. First and 10. The Rebels with four receivers. He's going right, and it falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Number 24 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He's looking. Throws it to the outside, and he dropped it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 25. The Aggies bring in their dime package. Someone got a hand on it. That's going to bring up a fourth down. And guys, I don't know about you, but this quarterback looks a little rattled out there. A little rattled? Man, this guy's completely rattled. Well, he better get everything figured out because another off game like this, and people will be talking about a quarterback controversy. They come out in a punt formation. He punts it. Number 84, fields it at the 38. Spin move. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. They'll set up shop at the 44-yard line. The Rebels line up at a nickelback. In the middle. And he's taken down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 46. The Aggies go with the I formation. He lateral. Brought down. Four, maybe five yards on the run. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 49. They line up in the jumbo set. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the left. Fourth and three. 
And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Number 26 calls for the fair catch. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll take over at the 24-yard line. The Rebel come out in the ace formation. Setting up the play action. Rolling out to the left side. Throws this one out to the left. Got his man. And they push him out. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. First it's first and 10, ten. ball on the 45-yard line. One man backfield. They'll throw on first down with the throw. They came with a blitz that time and forced the overthrow by the quarterback. Good defense there. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 45. The Rebel come out showing three wide. On the ground with the tailback. Gets past the tackler, and he's tackled. They get a good seven yards on that one. the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Ole Miss 10, New Mexico State 6. We've got third and three here. Ball in the 48. Ole Miss lines up in a goal line set. There's a play fake. Throws this one out to the right. Complete. And down he goes. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. The Rebel line up with three wide. He drops back. He's under pressure, looking, he's rolling right. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second it's second down and 10 to go. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Number 16 with three wide receivers. They run a counter. He spins around, and they make the stop. Ten-yard pickup on the play. Ole Miss comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. And he's tackled. They haven't been stopped on third down this whole drive. And that could be really frustrating as a defense because every time you have a chance to get off the field, you come up short and let the drive continue. First, First and ten. ten. This is the eighth All play of this drive. New Mexico State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Wants to throw outside. The ball is tipped, and it's incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Ole Miss lines up with three receivers. Here's the option. Has some daylight. Tackle. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Another reason why I love the option. Just when you think he's going to pitch it, he cuts up the field and keeps the ball himself. No question, Coach. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Number 24 lines up in a deep back, eye formation. They'll give it off here. Tries to juke, and he's taken down. A gain of three yards by the fullback. The 
looks like they're going to try to power this one in. They'll bring him down. Three yards there on the play. See if they can punch this one in. Jed's a tackler. Touchdown, Old Miss. What a run. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Ole Miss, 17, New Mexico State, 6. and ready for the kickoff. Ole Miss is lined up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number 25 fields it in the end zone. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. The Aggies line up with two tight ends. They'll throw on first down, across the middle. It falls incomplete. He was way out in front on that one. Yeah, there was no chance for the tight end to catch up to that ball there. Second and 10, ball on the 20 yard line. The Aggies come out in the ace formation, looks, throws it to the outside. Got it. And he's tackled. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. The Aggies line up with two tight ends. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. Same pass play. Good defense that time. For 85, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Number 26 is the single setback. Drops back to pass. Looking under heavy pressure. Throws to the middle. Batted ball. Guys, someone must have got the hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. Third and ten. Ball on their own 40. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. Wants to throw outside. And they make the stop. Oh, my, that long game gives them a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. Number 10 with four wide receivers. Across the middle. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Rebels bring in their dime package. He drops back. He lobs it over the middle. Intercepted! What an interception by the cornerback. This guy needs to be playing both sides of the ball. He can catch the ball better than some of these receivers. 
And here's our Red Zone players of the game. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They come out with three wide receivers. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. New Mexico State calls a timeout. Second and nine, ball on their own ten. Ole Miss will line up in a jumbo set here. There's a missed tackle, and down he goes. New Mexico State takes a timeout. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 12. The Aggies line up with six defensive backs. Back to pass. Throws. Batted ball. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. It's off, and it is a dandy. Number 84 fields it at the 38. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll get the ball here at the 42-yard line. Number 10 is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the left. Inside the 30 to the 10, and they'll score. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Expected. They're getting ready for a two-point conversion attempt. Drops back to pass. He's got to throw it in a hurry. They don't get the two. It looks like they're going to go for the onside kick. Number four, back to return. Here it goes. It's not quite over yet, but that might have been their last shot at winning this thing. Yeah, you're right, Brad. But don't think this coach isn't sweating it out over there. These two teams have been neck to neck the entire game. They come out in a goal line set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. New Mexico State calls a timeout. Second down and five. Ball on the 38. The Rebels come to the line with their jumbo package. He'll get it again. And he's tackled. That's four yards on the play. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 34-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. They hand it off again. He jukes him. Brought down. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. 
Ten yards, and it's marked the foul. They'll bring the ball back and mark off some yards against them. Third down again. Oh, yeah, and those types of mistakes kill drives more times than not. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 42-yard line. And they'll play it safe and take a knee. This one's in the books, folks. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long. Ole Miss really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2005. The final count in this one, Ole Miss 17, New Mexico State 12. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.